Hello everyone, welcome to the SaaS Security Webinar Series. My name is Azadeh Ahadian. In today's session, we will talk about onboarding Microsoft Office 365, OneDrive, and SharePoint apps, including requirements, content support, user activity support, different remediation supports, and different types of issues. We also cover how to identify risks for the Office 365 apps. First, just a quick reminder that currently SaaS Security API supports 26 plus cloud apps. This number is only for sanctioned cloud apps, which are the apps supported by your company. The general workflow for adding and securing a cloud app is as follows. First, we need to connect the cloud app to SaaS Security API. Then we need to authenticate the app using an administrator account. We know that the required privileges are different for each application. After successful authentication, SaaS Security API receives a token from the cloud app. Using the token, SaaS Security API establishes a secure connection. Then using API, it starts scanning the application data. During the initial scan or discovery process, it gets metadata for all files and folders on the application. The metadata contains file properties and attributes, and also application level metadata such as file owner, email, and collaborators. For applications such as Salesforce that have structured data and for messaging apps such as Slack, SaaS Security API scans both structured and unstructured data. Microsoft Office 365 is the online version of traditional Microsoft Office software. It is a collection of applications, including OneDrive and SharePoint. OneDrive is the Microsoft Cloud Storage Service. You can store and protect your files and access and share them securely. SharePoint is Microsoft web-based collaboration platform. It helps organization with sharing and managing content and knowledge. Now let's review the requirements for adding Office 365. As for other applications, we need to have an Office account global administrator role. As for other applications, we need to have an Office account global administrator role permissions. We also need a valid OneDrive license assigned to that administrator account. In addition, we need to have a OneDrive subscription, which is a subscription for a storage plan. The storage plan is separate from an Office 365 subscription. Of course, we need to grant SaaS Security API access to Office 365. An important step is to enable activity monitoring in Office 365 to record user and admin activities. I must also mention that if you have a previous version of the Office, you need to re-authenticate to update the permission. Otherwise, Office 365 app stops the scanning the asset. Some recommendations to better use of all available capability of Office are as follow. We have talked about the importance of defining the internal domains. So the first thing, not only a recommendation, but a best practice is to add Office 365 app domains to the list of internal domains in SaaS Security API. Another recommendation is to enable group-based selective scanning. Selective scanning is the ability to include or exclude Active Directory groups from the scan process. You need to have your Azure Active Directory group information so SaaS Security API can discover and scan assets belonging to the user groups you want to monitor. There are some customization that would be very helpful after adding Office 365. One is to set up a separate account for quarantine files. The recommendation is to use a service account that persists 
as administrators join and leave your organization. This quarantine administrator account does not need to have admin privileges. Note that after you define this account, you cannot modify the setting without deleting the Office 365 app and repeating the onboarding process. Also, if you don't specify an alternative account, SAS Security API uses the onboarding account to quarantine files in the admin quarantine folder. I have group-based selective scanning here too, since you have the option to do it after adding the cloud app. It is better to do it before because if you enable this feature after your cloud app is added, you must delete the cloud app instance, then reconnect cloud app to SaaS security API and initiate a new scan to rediscover all assets and events for all users. The result is that all assets and events will be deleted and incidents reported for users will be closed and no longer included in the selected groups. And of course, giving a descriptive name to this app instance helps with differentiating this instance of Office 365 from other instances. SAS Security API scans files and folders for both OneDrive and SharePoint, and both types of scans are supported. Forward scan is the process of scanning newly detected assets after detection point, and backward scan is scanning the assets before the detection point. Group-based scan is only supported for OneDrive. User activity support includes monitoring and alerting user activities. We don't have support for monitoring events within a folder for OneDrive and SharePoint. You go to Explore Activities page to see users' activities. There are some automatic remediation options available. Let's take a look at them. The first one is quarantine. Admin quarantine is supported for both OneDrive and SharePoint and only for files. Just a reminder that admin quarantine sends the asset to a special admin quarantine folder that only admin users can access. User quarantine is only supported for OneDrive. User quarantine sends the asset to a quarantine folder in the owner's root directory on the cloud app. The second option is to change sharing or remove the public links, only direct links and not inherited links. We don't support inherited links for OneDrive and SharePoint. The third option is to send notification from an admin account. No support for notifying via bot. For both OneDrive and SharePoint, post-remediation options are deleting the file, restoring the file, and downloading the file. Now let's review some common issues we face when we onboard the Office 365 app. The first one is that we don't see any assets in the SaaS security dashboard. Another one is the scan process stops after a while. You might also see an error regarding account mismatch when re-authenticating, or you might notice that the policy violation log is missing. Let's talk about each of these in more detail and understand the reason behind each. The reason for not seeing any scan assets for Office 365 apps is that SAS Security API is missing proper permission to access Office 365 and scan assets. To solve this problem, we need to log in to the Azure portal and grant the necessary permissions. The second issue we mentioned is Office 365 stopped the scanning process. The reason for this change is that SAS Security API had some upgrades for SharePoint to use Graph API. This change improved performance significantly. Note that OneDrive had been using Graph API. This can be easily fixed. We need to re-authenticate Office 365 app and consent to the required SharePoint permissions. 
The next problem is related to mismatching accounts when you re-authenticate. This happens when you are using an account for a different Microsoft tenant. This often happens as your browser catches your account information for a tenant, and when you log in to a different tenant, it uses the same data. To resolve this, you can use an incognito window or just log out and log in back using the correct account info. The last issue is the missing policy violation log. So no violations are created for user activities. This happens when you forget to enable activity monitoring in Office 365 to record user and admin activities. This was one of the requirements we discussed at the beginning. Now, there are several issues related to quarantining files. Some are related to licensing and subscription, and the majority are related to files not being available for quarantine, about eight of them. The list is long. Let's go straight into the details for each one. The first issue related to licensing and subscription is that SaaS security API cannot quarantine OneDrive assets because it cannot create a quarantine location. The reason is not having a OneDrive subscription. As I mentioned earlier, that is one of the requirements. So make sure you have one, and if you purchase a new one, make sure that you re-authenticate. The second issue related to licensing and subscription is SaaS Security API stopped quarantining OneDrive assets. This is again because it cannot create a quarantine location. As we know, SaaS Security API needs the admin account and OneDrive license used for onboarding Office 365 to quarantine files. If the admin account is deleted or the OneDrive license is revoked, it cannot quarantine assets. We need to confirm that the admin account exists and has a valid OneDrive license. Now let's review quarantine issues related to files being unavailable. The first issue is that quarantine files reported by the cloud app do not display in SaaS security. In such cases, SaaS security API does not know about the files because the cloud app discovered the malware and quarantined the file before SaaS security can reach the file and copy it. In this case, the only option is to remediate this file within the cloud app. The next issue is having a quarantine status of unable to download the asset. The reason for this is that Microsoft Threat Protection blocks the file. Again, the option is to remediate the file within the cloud app itself. The next issue is getting a message about the malware status not being available. This time, SAT Security API successfully copied the file metadata, but cannot download a copy to send it for wildfire analysis. This is also because the app quarantined the file, so it is not available for SaaS Security API. Quarantine action option not available in SaaS Security API is another problem. This might be due to two different reasons. The first reason could be that SaaS Security API immediately copied the asset metadata before the cloud app could discover and quarantine it. The second reason might be that SaaS Security API attempts to download a copy of the file for wildfire analysis after the cloud app discovered and quarantined the assets. Again, the only option is to remediate the asset within the cloud app. Another problem is that you are no longer able to download or restore a file that SaaS Security API initially quarantined because the cloud app quarantined the asset, making it unavailable. To fix this, if you want to download or restore the file, do it on your cloud app. But if you need to delete it, do it on your SaaS security API. So SaaS security API can close the incidents related to the file. 
if you are not able to see the snippet or any historical data for a file that was quarantined by SAS Security API, it is because SAS Security API quarantined the file before the cloud app could detect malware and quarantine the file itself. Again, for this problem, if you need to delete the file, do it on the SAS Security API user interface. So SAS Security API can delete related incidents and do the restore and download from the cloud app. Another issue is that the file's malware status is not available anymore. In this case, SAS Security API sent the file for wildfire analysis and quarantined the asset after receiving the verdict. Same solution for this. If you need to download and restore the file, do it from your cloud app and delete it on SAS Security Dashboard. And the last problem is not being able to see the wildfire report for a file. This problem happens when the copy of a file expires on SAS Security API or when SAS Security receives a notification from the cloud app about discovering and quarantining the file. In this case, SAS Security changes the malware status, so the report is no longer available. Same solution for this problem too. Delete the file on SAS Security API and download or restore the file on the cloud app. These were all issues related to the quarantine actions. Now the last problem we will discuss is the issue with SAS Security API access to Office 365. This is also related to not having correct permissions and it is easy to resolve. Just log in to the Azure portal as global admin and grant admin consent for your organization. Now let's talk about actions we can take to better identify risks and violations within our cloud apps. These suggestions work for all cloud apps, including Office 365. First, make sure that the default policy rules are effective and catch all violations. Actions you can take to improve the results are modifying match criteria for the policy rules to reduce false positives. You can create new policies for your specific security risks, especially asset rules, user activity rules, and security control rules. You can also edit existing data patterns. This concludes our session today. Thank you everyone for attending. We will have our question and answer session now.